Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran that on Yawm al-Qiyamah some people will be told أَوَلَمْ نُعَمِّرْكُمْ مَا يَتَذَكَّرُ فِيهِ مَنْ تَذَكَّرْ وَجَاءَكُمُ النَّذِيبُ Did we not give you enough age that someone who should have taken heed would have taken heed in that age? Meaning, did we not give you sufficient age in which a person could have become wise, a person could have learnt, could have taken heed, could have realised. Did we not give you enough of an age? And did the warner not come to you? Now obviously the warner, there are two interpretations to the word warner here. One is clearly Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But a number of Sahaba radiyallahu anhum and Tabi'een, their students, have defined the warner not as being only Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but sheeb, meaning white hair. وَجَاءَكُمُ النَّذِيرُ And the warner came to you, meaning white hair. This is why in a hadith later by Imam Bukhari, rahmatullahi alayhi in his sahih, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, If Allah subhanahu لَقَدْ أَعْذَرَ اللَّهُ إِلَى مْرِئٍ Indeed, Allah has exhausted his excuse by delaying a person till the age of 60 years. The meaning of a'dhar Allahu ilayhi, it's a very unique Arabic phrase. A'dhar in Arabic refers to when you give someone chance upon chance, chance after chance. Until you can no longer give them any more chances. You've exhausted all your excuses. You've made every excuse for them. You've given them every udr. You've given them every excuse. You've given them every opportunity to change. You've run out of your patience. You have made every excuse for them. You now can no longer do anything for them. You've exhausted everything. It's not possible for you to give them any further opportunities, any further chances. This is the meaning of i'dhar in Arabic. And of course, some of these don't apply to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Indeed, Allah has exhausted his excuses. Allah has exhausted his chances with someone whom he has delayed till the age of 60 years. And he actually mentioned this in, well, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, did we not give you that age? Now, the ulama mentioned this hadith, but there's a difference of opinion. That what is the age in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given someone enough of a chance? Is it the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where he says that 60 years? There's a difference. The hadith doesn't speak about when a person should realize. The hadith speaks about someone who's had their last chance. And that last chance is at the age of 60 in the hadith. It doesn't mean that that's when they should realize. What the hadith says is that Allah has exhausted all chances and opportunities and excuses for that person. If by the age of 60 they don't realize, they will never realize. But when should a person realize? When is that age that Allah refers to in the Qur'an when he says, أَوَلَمْ نُعَمِّرْكُمْ مَا يَتَذَكَّرُ فِيهِمْ مَنْ تَذَكَّرُ should we, Did we not give you enough of an age that someone who would have ta- should have taken heed would have taken heed? The two are different. One is the exhaustion of all chances. One is that age by which a person should come to their senses. So when is that age when a person should come to their senses being referred to in the verse? Of course, ulama have mentioned different ages. Some have said 60, some have said 40, some have said 30. 
as I've mentioned before, the beautiful, eloquent, wise, and noble great grandson of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the son of Hussein radiyallahu an, Imam Ali ibn al Hussein Zain al Abideen radiyallahu an, he would say that the age by which a person should realize and come to their senses, which Allah refers to in this verse, that did we not give you enough of an age by which or in which someone who would have taken heed should have taken heed? Imam Ali ibn al Hussein, Zain al Abideen, an, the grandson of Fatima, anha, the son of Hussein, an, and the great grandson of the Prophet, وسلم, he used to say that age is 17, being referred to in the Quran. 17. So youth is vital. 